This is America in Space, a weekly news and information program on current events dealing with the space industry. From the Washington News Bureau, here is your host, Rick Potluck. Welcome to part two of the Sounds of Space. Let's get right to it then, shall we? The Crab Nebula is one of the oldest nebulas studied in our history, going all the way back to A.D. 1054, when it was first discovered in our skies. NASA combined the images of Hubble, Chandra, and Spitzer, then they used sonification and came up with this sound. The bullet cluster provided scientists with the first proof of dark matter. Hubble, Chandra, and sonification combined to come up with this sound. about the rest of you, but this all reminds me of electronic music pioneers John Cage, Jean-Michel Jarre, Tangerine Dream, and Pierre Schaefer. Supernova's 1987A was one of the brightest supernova explosions in centuries. Again, Chandra, Hubble, and Sonification came up with this. We've all seen those fabulous pictures of pillars of the creation taken by Hubble of those elephant trunks of interstellar gas and dust in the Eagle Nebula. It's about 6,500 or 7,000 light years from Earth, according to Wikipedia. But Chandra's X-ray observatory imagery and sonification produced this sound. Ready for some sounds from Mars? NASA's InSight lander picks up the following sounds. A breeze, a Mars quake, and then the InSight lander's robotic arm that moved. And now the main event, Mars rover Perseverance recorded the sounds of the spacecraft as it makes its way towards the red planet. The sounds were recorded October 19th during an in-flight check of the camera and the microphone system.
I hope you enjoyed all of these fine sounds from space. Reporting from the Washington News Bureau, I'm Rick Potlock. Happy holidays, everyone. Thanks for listening. Be sure to share our program with your family and friends and follow us on Facebook. Join us each week for news and information on America in Space.